Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about a couple of other ways by which you can read data from your Google Spreadsheets. So if you remember, in my last video I have talked about how you can connect to your Google account, then how you can register your Google Sheet and then how you can read the different spreadsheets by using gs underscore title and uh, gs underscore read command. All right. So in this video, we will see a couple of other ways by which you can read the Google Spreadsheets. So the first option is to get the connectivity from the Google Spreadsheets. So I need to again run the command, first of all, to import the library, which is Google Sheets. Once I do that, uh, I need to refresh my authentication by giving a command gs underscore auth. So since I used it, uh, yesterday to connect to my Google account this time it doesn't ask me this information but in case if you need uh, if you need to register with some other uh, Google's uh, account then in that case you need to say new underscore user is equals to true once you do that it will again ask it will again take you to that interface uh, where it asks you to connect to connect to which account and then you can go ahead and do this so that's the parameter you need to give in case you need you need to connect to a new Google Drive or new Google account all right so gs underscore auth is what we discussed yesterday and the sheet that we used that we registered was uh, empty cars so empty cars is nothing but an inbuilt data set here in the here in the R I just took it out and store it as a excel file and then again re-import it for the demonstration purpose so the same sheet we will going to register again by using the gs underscore title so let's say we write uh, uh, empty empty cars underscore gs gs sheet and gs underscore title and this is nothing but empty cars once we do that it says sheet successfully identified and then we need to so warning is we need we don't need to really worry about it if there is an error then it then we need to really worry about that so after registering with gs underscore title that's one way of registering it there are a couple other ways by which you can register the sheet so if we look at it um, we have within the packages so Google Sheets is what sheet is all about. Google Spreadsheets are all about. And then the one we have used it, GS underscore title. So apart from this, if you see here, one option is register a Google Sheet by using Google Sheet. And there are a couple others, which is GS underscore URL it's also so if you have the url of the spreadsheet then also you can register it gs underscore title is one we have already used right there are there is other which is uh, from the key gs underscore key by which you can register a sheet and gs underscore gs it nothing but gives all the options by which you can register the sheet so if i go in here it shows different way like gs underscore title gs underscore key gs underscore url and then a couple of other operations by using gs underscore ws underscore feed but we'll look at on this a little bit later so idea is that we use the gs underscore key and gs underscore url to register the sheet so first of all let's use the gs underscore key and quickly identify what it is uh, all about so if i go back and specifically choose gs underscore key which is here all right it shows the same page i thought it will show the different page okay so it's nothing but it pro we need to provide the sheet key and how you can get the sheet key well we will utilize gs underscore ls option if you remember this it provides the information of all the sheets which are there in and related to our account so empty car is the one 
but it does not show the entire information. So for that, uh, we need to store it in some object. So let's say all underscore GS underscore sheets and it's nothing but GS underscore LS. So once we do that, after that we have the command all underscore GS underscore sheets. It shows us all the information and here we got the sheet key. Once we got the sheet key, we should also get the URL like this spreadsheet. So all of this information is at our disposal. It's just that we need to know how we can get it. So GS underscore LS is a very beneficial command if you are looking for all the information related to your sheets, which are there in your account. All right. So after this, um, let's empty cards underscore GS underscore GS sheet underscore key. Once we do that, uh, we need to write GS underscore key and then specify the key over here. So empty card is here and here is the key. You just copy this and provide inside and within the double quotes. Once you do that, so it says sheet successfully identified and empty cards. And in this case here, it is not giving us the warning or anything. Well, this is the second option by which you can register a sheet and then utilize it for reading the data. The third option is to look at the URL of the sheet. So URL is nothing but here it presents the URL. So if we look at uh, empty cards underscore GS sheet underscore URL. So if you want to JS underscore URL and simply provide the URL of the spreadsheet. Well, if it does not come, then we need to do a little bit of, yeah, it comes perfectly. All right, once we do that, uh, it shows us an error. Looks like mainly because of the self, the option that we have used the self, I think. The last one which I was using, if I remember, it was alternate. So let's try with alternate and see if it gives us the correct result. So sometimes this sort of issue comes and but we have this entire data set with us which helps us doing the info, you know, correction. So if I provide it the key which is there, which looks like a key uh, or the URL which you generally see because if I remember docs.google.com spreadsheet and in the end it gives us the added option so let's try with this all right so in this case it successfully identifies and register the sheet so alternate is basically the one which we need to choose to register it via the URL well there is a couple of other options as it says gs underscore ws underscore feed and looks like uh, Either WS underscore feed, which the URL which is coming here is similar to the one which is related to self. And this is the option that we need to use if we have the WS underscore worksheet underscore feed or self option that we are choosing. All right. So these are the two different ways or two main ways I would say uh, we generally encounter uh, when we need to register a sheet. And then GS underscore read is the option. Uh, which you can utilize to read the data from the uh, from these different uh, key the objects that you have created either via URL or via the key you have registered the sheet you can use any of that object and start reading the contents of the sheet if you don't know then I would suggest look uh, please look back my previous video where I have shown how you can read the data from the um, from the Google Sheets uh, by after registering the Google Sheet. So that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video and I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.